and welcome back. We're in my camper today. If you follow me on Instagram, you know we recently got this 1997 motorhome. The reason we're in my camper is because, and I am so excited. This is part of the DIY Mommies outdoor DIY challenge. So if you are here from Christina's channel, welcome. I hope you like this video and I sure hope you hit that subscribe button. And big thank you to Christina for organizing this. It's really exciting for me to be part of another bigger YouTubers challenge and I especially love that she is Canadian. You can check out more information in the description box below. I'll have links there, the other participants. So I knew I wanted to be part of this because I just love Christina's channel and I really enjoy seeing her DIY so I thought I should try and do something and I wanted to do something in the camper here anyway. So here we are. So I picked up this really lovely floral print at um, Fabricland here in Canada and it's like a, it's a lightweight canvas or lightweight upholstery fabric and my original plan with it was to make curtains full curtains on our windows but so as you can see our camper has these like I'm sure many campers do has these valances around the windows and they're just they're just outdated there's nothing wrong with them they're in great shape my uncle who gave us the camper they had them cleaned last year when they bought it themselves. I just wanted to do a little refresh. So I'm going to be doing that on the windows. And I thought about too doing the those uppers there, repolstering those, but that would involve taking everything apart. And like I said, I don't have a lot of time for this. So I'm not actually doing all the windows in the camper. I'm not doing the bedroom ones, but I'm gonna do this window that you can see here, the small one, and then the big one. And then above the couch is the same big window and then a little window. And then panning around here. I thought about doing the curtains that wrap around the front, but they have these special clips on them and I didn't really want to fin be finicky with that. I like how much light the ones we currently have block out. So then I'll also be doing this little smaller window. So I just started with taking all the measurements I need for the windows. And if you are doing this, make sure you measure all of them because they are not exactly alike. And then I took my measurements to my fabric and made rectangles for each window. The width of my fabric wasn't wide enough for the big windows, so I did end up having to, to create two panels to connect together. The panels that I could make full rectangles out of, I cut a slit up center, making sure I left enough room at the top for the valance part. This will make more sense later as you see the video. And then I just ironed the top and sides of them half inch and then half inch again to create my hem. And then I sewed around all three sides. And then I did a roll hem along the slit and the bottom edges. So for the very big windows, I had to cut two panels because my width of fabric was not wide enough. And as you can see, these flowers have stems that actually only go one way. So I cut two panels and now I'm gonna sew them together. And I had to do this also for one of the end panels because I ran out of fabric. I didn't, I needed about an extra, oh, not even an extra meter and um, I didn't have it. So probably like a half meter would have done. But it's fine, I can just make a seam in the center. I'm only gonna sew it together six inches because that is how much I need for my that top balance part. In the ones that were full, I made a slit up and left six inches connected. So now I'm gonna connect six inches with my serger. Right sides together. From the bottom of the valance down to the slit, I added an extra inch there. Okay, so you can see I got the curtains just kind of shoved up there just to dry fit it. I am really happy with them. They look so pretty. Loving the fabric choice. And I just used some bag clips there to, uh, <laughs> I have my little helpers with me to kind of secure it just to get a feel for what it would look like. Yeah. I'm glad I added the extra inch to the length. Um, and I'm I'm not even going to do a full oh, yeah. hem. I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do the rolled hem on the bottom as well. 
because I think if I did a full one inch hem, it would be too short. I'm gonna go home and finish making the rest and then tomorrow I'll bring them out here and you'll see the reveal. Now I'm just hemming the three sides of the rest of the panels and then I'm gonna go ahead and roll hem the center slit and the bottom hem. Again, check out that description box because I'm going to be linking to the playlist with all the other DIYers and you can see what they're doing for their outdoor challenge. And then once I had everything done, I went back out to my camper and installed them. I'm just using these little upholstery tacks from my local hardware store. brothers I don't know if I mentioned that my brothers and I own this together so I haven't cleared this white um, floral fabric or redoing the curtains with them at all so I'm hoping they like it and really what my underlying goal is here is for them to think like oh yeah those are really pretty but they don't match anything so maybe we should paint all the wood white and I'll be like great idea boy Let's do that. I'm glad that was all your idea. Give me a thumbs up if you think this plan's gonna work. I'm really into camper renovations right now, especially since we got this camper. Honestly, if it was up to me, we would live on the road, but my husband's not totally into that. So leave me a comment, let me know. Are you into camper renovations or am I just totally weird? I'm just going around and cutting any loose threads that might be hanging out. Okay, they're all done. I really am loving how they change the feel and look of this camper. It makes it feel so much more pretty and cute, feminine maybe. I'm not going to tell my brothers that. <laughs> um, there were some, there were definitely some challenges. The little nails I got I would have liked to do a lot more but the hardware store only had two packs so I had to make do with what I had it was impossible to get into the corner so I'm gonna have to get some velcro or something to go in there I didn't make my straps on the big windows long enough so I might make some longer ones honestly probably leave it like this because I think it's just the look is what I was going for so that's all that really matters to me